the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You know, it says this in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and I want to come back to this passage in just a moment, but I am here today uh, to, to do this video in front of this double barrel cannon. Now, this cannon was, was built uh, to fight in the Civil War. It was never used uh, because they never could get it to fire correctly through both of the barrels uh, to hit a target. But you know, our weapons are mighty, it says in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 10, for the pulling down of strongholds. It says in verse 3 of chapter 10, 2 Corinthians, uh, for though we live in this world, we do not wage war as this world does. You know, but it says that our weapons that we fight with are not carnal, but they are mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. Do you have some strongholds in your life today? Uh, maybe it's addiction. Maybe it's relationships. Maybe it's financial. Maybe it's uh, uh, physical or emotional or mental. Uh, let me say to you today that any stronghold in your life the Word of God and the mighty weapons that God has given us to wage war. You know, He is a God of war that it will hit the target. It will hit the mark and it will bring down that stronghold in your life. Maybe it's violence. Maybe it's abuse uh, in, in your life or in your environment. Uh, maybe it's a rejection, the spirit of rejection or the spirit of suicide. Uh, right now, I come against those two spirits uh, in the name of Jesus. And I say that with the Word of God, every stronghold in your life can be brought to zero, can be brought to nothing. It says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You know, this cannon right here that they built to use in the the Civil War, it was not effective. But the weapons that we have through God, we have the Word of God, we have prayer, we have intercession, we have the blood of Jesus. All of those weapons can be used to bring down any stronghold that you may encounter, any problem that you may encounter. Another effective uh, weapon that we have is praise and worship. When we praise the Lord, it steals the avenger. It makes the, the enemy flee because he cannot stand when the people of God begin to praise their God. Because it brings Jesus on the scene. It brings the mighty warrior, uh, the commander-in-chief of the army of God. It brings him into his very presence when you begin to praise him. So our weapons, they may not be as this cannon. They may not be a rifle. They may not be a knife. They may not be our fist. But they are mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. You know, I just think about the viewers today that are watching. And the stronghold that comes strong in my spirit is the economic stronghold, the financial stronghold uh, that the, the enemy has tried to put on the people of God, uh, that they, uh, oh no, you cannot tithe. No, you don't have the money to tithe. You don't have the money to give into the kingdom. Let me tell you something. The principle of giving and receiving is a mighty weapon of God. Give. You know, it said that Isaac... In the book of Genesis, it says that Isaac sowed in famine and he reaped a hundredfold in the same year. And I'm telling you that that giving and receiving principle is effective as a weapon that we have that will pull down that financial economic stronghold in your life. If you will just give, if you will sow, it says if you sow, you shall also reap. And, and that's exactly what Isaac did. He sowed in time of famine. When, uh, when you think that you don't have enough, you need to give. You need to give. 
and and God will give back to you good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. He's going to give back into you. You know, Luke six thirty three says that. That's a mighty weapon in the area of uh, economic strongholds, and I believe that we need to use that. Uh, the the word of God is powerful, and today I pray for you. I pray that every stronghold in your life. Uh, be reduced to nothing, that you will use the Word of God to bring down those strongholds of addiction, of rejection, of suicide, of uh, financial uh, of poverty. Uh, any type of stronghold in your life uh, can be brought down, and, and you can use these weapons. God is a man of war. David said, He teaches my hands how to war. And our, and our weapons, uh, again... Uh, will bring down uh, those strongholds that God has given us. That, uh, that, that The weapons that God has given us will bring down any stronghold that the devil has put in your life. I pray for you today that you be strengthened in your inner man by might through his mighty power and through his blood and through his name. And we cry out the name of Jesus today over each one of you in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be free of financial burdens in Jesus' name. Be free of rejection and anger and abuse and suicide in Jesus' name. God bless you this day. Thank you for viewing.